One of the questions which we often get asked is how many sperms do you require to get pregnant? There are many ways of answering that question and really depends on where you're trying to get pregnant. So in the laboratory, theoretically, you require just one sperm to fertilize one egg. And this is what embryologists do. And this is the magic of IVF ICSI treatment, where IVF is in vitro fertilization, ICSI is intracytoplasmic sperm injection, where the embryologist actually takes the egg, which we take out from the ovary, strips it, takes one single sperm by processing the man's semen and injects that one single sperm inside the egg to fertilize it. Now, obviously in real life, you don't make babies in an IVF laboratory. You don't go to an embryologist in order to get pregnant. You make babies in your bedroom. Now, in the bedroom, in order for that one sperm to be able to reach the egg, you require millions of sperms in the semen sample because there's an enormous amount of wastage in the process. For one thing, a lot of semen leaks out during intercourse, so most of the sperms will not even make it past the cervical mucus. Then there are multiple barriers which the sperm have to go through because they only the best sperms will swim up and find their way through the cervical mucus, through the uterine cavity, through the fallopian tube to the waiting egg. Usually through this arduous journey, there may be just about a few hundred sperms which make it way to the egg. But in order for those few hundred sperms to reach the egg, you need so many millions. Now, even of those hundred, many of them are abnormal. They're abnormal shapes, so they don't contain the right DNA or whatever else it is. The point is human reproduction is very wasteful. It's very inefficient. Only when you then deposit all these millions of sperms in the vagina during intercourse, with a few hundred top quality sperms find their way to the egg in the fallopian tube of which one will actually make its way and fertilize the egg and once that happens the zona or the shell which surrounds the egg gets shut off so that no more sperms can then fertilize the egg that's how all of us were formed in the bedroom it's a bit magical and miraculous isn't it